So in this tutorial uh, we're going to look at creating bills of materials or BOMs uh, as they're more commonly known uh, and also uh, attaching uh, BOM balloons to the model. So you, uh, normally when you show an assembly uh, either in an exploded state or not uh, you will include on the sheet uh, or maybe in the uh, subsequent sheet uh, a table uh, which has consecutive numbers down the first column and then it uh, it lists the the parts that are contained within that assembly and normally the quantities of each part as well and then what you do is you'd cross-reference those uh, consecutive numbers uh, to little uh, uh, arrows with balloons on the end that have those numbers in uh, like you can see here. So we're just going to learn how to do that uh, within a, an existing drawing. So uh, we're in uh, drawing details folder and tables bomb balloons folder. So I've already set my working directory to there. Drawing details table bomb balloons. So I'm going to uh, open up this drawing. Uh, it's just called tables for dot drawing. So here's the drawing when you load it in. You can see we've got an exploded view already created for us. Uh, we've also got a bomb table here. So as, I, as I've said before, uh, it's got incremental numbers increasing down the first column there. One, two, three, four, five, all, all the way up to six. Uh, it's got the names of the parts in the next column and then it's got the quantities of each part in the column after that. Now what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to delete that uh, table uh, just so that we can recreate it so that you know uh, how that tab table was created in the first place. So the first thing that you can see is I can't actually select it uh, when I just drop into this drawing initially and that's because I've not got the table tab active here. So if we activate that I can then select the table uh, or I can select it from the drawing tree over here. You can see it's table 12. So I'm just going to right click on it and delete. So that's gone. So if we wanted to recreate that, uh, which we're going to have to do before we create our bombs, uh, our balloons, sorry, attached to the uh, drawing here, uh, you want to open up the table uh, drop down menu, go down to quick tables and uh, there's a couple of uh, bomb uh, related tables in here. And we're going to use this bomb description down. So it's prompting us to place the table. Uh, I'm just going to place it roughly in the uh, same location that it was in. You can see if we zoom in a little bit we've got all the same information that we had in the original table but we've also got a couple of other columns here which are any descriptions that are stored within each part so you can see that most of ours don't have descriptions uh, just this bolt part uh, and any notes that have been stored in those parts as well so we actually want to trim this table down a bit so you can see I'm just selecting one of the columns there and then when I have it selected right click delete it's saying are you sure you want to delete this yes we are and then I'm going to do the same with this uh, this next column here. So get them selected and then just delete them. So there you go, we have our table uh, more or less ready. If we want to play around with the text style, maybe increase the size of the text a little bit, we can do that as well. Again, you, uh, you right click on the items that you're interested in. Uh, and then there's an option to uh, edit text style in there as well uh, which you can do uh, to make your tables a little bit more legible uh, let's say we're happy with that now though so we've got our bomb table on the sheet we've got our drawing view uh, so we're just going to create some balloons uh, the easiest way to do that just click up here and create balloons all and that will automatically attach some uh, balloons that are dynamically linked to this table so uh, the numbers match the numbers are indicating the parts uh, 
listed in the table there. So let's say you want to uh, uh, move the positions of these balloons. You can just select a balloon. You can see you have two little uh, squares, one on each end. Uh, you can drag the balloon end around, no problem. Uh, the other end, you can drag it along uh, whichever entity of the part. So in this case, it's attached to an edge. I can drag it along that edge, even out into uh, free space, but I can't drag it onto any of the other edges on that part. So the way that you do that, I've just temporarily clicked off there. If I just select the balloon as a whole, so the whole thing, right click on it and it's the edit attachment. So that edits how the balloon is attached to the model. So I can now, let's say I want to bring the balloon around this side with this 4 and this 6. Let's say I want to uh, select that piece of geometry there. I just click there and you can see it's reattached itself now uh, round on this side. So once I'm happy with that, I just have to uh, middle click to OK that, and uh, now it's re it's reattached itself to the uh, to the edge that I selected there. So you can maneuver the uh, balloons wherever you need them in order to make. Uh, your drawing as neat and le legible as possible. So in this assembly uh, we have multiple copies of the same bolt uh, included. There's five of these uh, similar bolts. You can see that there are three here that pass through this uh, upper plate and then there are two down here uh, that pass through this uh, cover as well. So uh, we can see the quantities in the bomb table uh, but you can actually make the quantities visible uh, with each uh, balloon as well. So the way that you do that is you select the bill of materials first so you can either select it in the graphics window up here or you can find it in the uh, drawing tree when you've got the tables tab selected and then if you right click and go to properties uh, and then in bomb balloons at the moment it's just set to simple circle which shows the item number of each part but we can change that to uh, quantity split circle which as you can see when I set that what that does is the top figure is still the uh, the part number or the item number but the bottom number indicates the quantity in this particular assembly. So hopefully you can see uh, that the majority of these parts there's only one in the uh, quantity uh, half of the balloon except for the bolts which it's indicating that there are five copies of this. But let's say you want to uh, label these bolts up uh, as having a quantity of two and label these bolts up as having a quantity of three. Uh, you can do that, and the way that you do that is you use this split tool, uh, split balloon command. Uh, so we'll select that. We'll select the balloon that we want to split. It's this one, and then basically it's saying uh, when you create your new balloon to label your other bolts, how many of the total of five would you like? And we would like three because we're going to put a label on those upper bolts. Uh, and there's three of them so we'd like three of this quantity of five to come with us to our new balloon location so let's do that again split balloon this balloon uh, we'd like three of those five please hit enter and then what it's asking for is select an, atta uh, an attachment point for the new balloon so we want to attach it to one of these bolts I think we'll attach it there and then it wants a location for the new balloon I think we'll put it about there and then you can see it still knows that these bolts are the same uh, item number in the bomb table as the lower bolts. They've still both got three as the item number. But now we've got uh, the remaining two just down here. And those three that we just requested 
are now attached up here instead. So that's the split balloon option. 